Hey, 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 everyone. Come on down. Soulful Saturday, who's in the house? I'm looking for you. Here they come. Hello, Tanya. Good afternoon to you. Good to see you. Who else is here? I see, I see peoples. Hi, Heather. And there's Melissa. Hi, Marianne. There's Anita too, hi. Hi, Doris. <laughs> and Denise. Hi, Liz. Hi, Jill. I'm seeing all my coaching gals. Hi, Heidi, good afternoon to you. Sandra, good to see you. Venice. There's our girl, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Joanne and Jenny, hello. Storms are coming your way. Corliss is in the house today. So's Gwen. Notice anything different about my background? <laughs> Hi, Cynthia and Beverly. Lucy's here, of course. Hi, Susan. Very hot in Pennsylvania. It is hot here, too. Hi, John. Shara. Happy Saturday. Jennifer's here as well. Good job, Jennifer. Hi, Carla. And there's my girl, Marguerite. And Midnight has left us. I'm sad. But maybe you'll get another kitty. Hi, Diane and Tracy. Look at everybody. It's a good Saturday. I love watching you all come in. There's Pam. Hello, hello. Also, this light makes me look really pink. <laughs> You're in a new spot. The lighting, the lighting is awesome. Well, bless your heart. <laughs> Thanks, Marianne. I love my hair up too because you know what? I didn't even finish drying it, so there it is. Hi, Mary. I'm so glad. I hope, I hope I've been helping you out a little bit. I'm glad you're here. Um, Jenny, go to savingdinner.com and up in the right-hand corner, you'll see the store navigation. Just click on store and we'll, we'll take good care of you. There's, I think there's a supplement, a direct supplement um, link there too. store.savingdinner.com. So, you know. <laughs> Oh my goodness, yes, get your supplements ordered. We, I mean, we're just packing them in and pushing them out as fast as possible. I, I, I know, you know what? Um, it's just, it's a funny thing. Sometimes saving dinner is, I mean, sometimes Facebook is just so great and other times Facebook is really not so helpful. You know what I think though? This is, this is my thought. My thought is, I think it depends on our internet because sometimes I always get my my notifications and sometimes I do not. There's Carla, Trisha, yay, hello, hello. Good to see you. All right, guys, it is Soulful Saturday today of all things. You know what, I was like, gosh, I'm getting ready to go and everything and then I decided I'm moving my office downstairs. I was so hot upstairs. Our air conditioning upstairs is not working, but it is downstairs and it's gonna be a hot one today. I think it's gonna be a hot one all over the Northeast, Southeast, I think all over the country. Let's just, let's go with some heat. So the AC is just feeling delightful, but downstairs, upstairs, it feels like a steam oven. No, thank you. So I had to move everything downstairs and that's why I'm a little bit late. Had to shuffle a little bit. So um, I thought, you know, and I didn't have a chance to really prepare like I usually do. But what I thought I would do is share with you from my journal, because my journal has been, you know, kind of the guideposts um, of my life and, the, and the, this has been part of my growth. And, you know, I'm finding that, you know, we're all basically, <laughs> we're on that same path, you know? We, we wanna do things and we wanna have these things and we get frustrated when things aren't working out for us. So I wanna share with you some things that I've written down and I can do, you know, that I've got all kinds of um, ideas and um, things that have just really helped me. So I'm just going to read some of these things. I'm going to talk about them a little. If you have anything that you want to throw in, 
But these are things that have made me say, wow, and that's why they've made their way into my journal. We have a new quote of the week from Jim Rohn, one of my all-time personal development heroes. Jim Rohn has this, uh, um, this way, and he's passed, of course, but he has this way of just, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but it's just going directly to uh, the heart, giving you a direct passageway into this is what's going on. This is how you have to look at it, right? Heidi says, I can do hot yoga up there. Pass. <laughs> no, thank you. But it's if you don't like how things are, change it. You are not a tree. You've heard me say that before, right? Well, I didn't know that, but this is where it came from. Jim Rohn, brilliant man that he is. He was one of the first in the, in the whole personal development um, field. He passed, I'm gonna say, somewhere between 10 and five years ago, I can't remember exactly. But his whole perspective was that of looking for opportunity to grow and to become your best self. And, um, you know, of course he started with the greats, the Napoleon Hills and all of those other things. But you know what I really loved about him? He was really no nonsense. He didn't go for all the, the you know, this, that, and the, he, he wasn't, he wasn't real and a real big embellisher. He simply said this, and then he'd give you an example from his own life. Um, he traveled the country and spoke everywhere. And he changed people's perspectives of going from people that just saw very limited um, versions of themselves to seeing the possibilities. And he did this with me too. Way back when I was in my 20s and I was first learning about personal development, I had my first goal setting workshop ever. And um, I never really thought of myself in those terms. In my house, it was about pure survival. We came from a scarcity mindset. Well, Jim Rohn flipped that and he said, come from an abundance mindset. You know, who holds the abundance in his hands? It's God himself. And you think he's stingy? Absolutely not. He wants to lavish his love on us and he lavish what we have as well. So I, I just, I had to flip some thinking um, being under his tutelage, but it was, it's been a joyful ride and I highly recommend, um, there's a book called the pillars of something I can't remember, but pillars of blah blah blah, uh, personal <laughs> of personal development by Jim Rohn. It's just a little skinny book. I've read it umpteen times, and I've got things underlined and highlighted in it galore. And um, you know, sometimes that stuff made its way into my journal, which I will be sharing from you today. People are always asking me, what are you drinking? This is Hot Melt Mix, which is a part of my whole uh, philosophy and my whole stance on hydration and how critically important it is, not only for weight loss, but also for optimal health. We have to get the hydration in. And one of the things that I use is our Hot Melt Mix. Hot Melt Mix is fabulous. You can find it in our store. You've got electrolytes, you've got exogenous ketones keeping you in ketosis, which means it's gonna keep you losing the weight, ladies. And a little MCT oil to put the whole thing on steroids. It's amazing stuff. Um, we have that. Did you hear that? That was big thunder. Wow, okay. Um, so the other thing I wanted to show you is that we have our supplements of the week. And have you seen them yet? Have you looked at them? Let me just tell you, we have jammed them out of the store for these last couple of days. And they are what I call the appetite control kit, right here. Appetite control, you can't even see, I can't hold things correctly. That's the Leptifix, which you take first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And this is the Crave Crusher, which helps to control your diet. It helps to control how much you're eating. They, the both, they both go hand in hand because leptin gets broken as we start to lose weight because leptin lives in your, in your fat. Yikes. So that fixes that first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. And then the Crave Crusher you take helps to sustain um, that appetite, appetite control. It's absolutely critical. And then you add in some L-glutamine for quick craving crush. Put it right on your fingers. And I don't have it with me. It's upstairs. But it's just amazing. Anyway, for me, everything that you see in our shop is stuff that has worked for me. For me, and I've used it, and I can tell you, that it works and that's why it's here. It's that simple. 
And if you order our Crave Crusher, put the, the Appetite Control Bundle, it's a kit, those two, drop three in your cart, we will send you the fourth one absolutely free and put ships free in the promo code and away we go. You're gonna get, you're gonna get months supply, months and months of supply. This is the way you should be doing it. Just watching me for my supplement of the week because I'm telling you, we get, we get a whole bunch in and I'm gonna pass a great deal to you, the best that I can. So we've been very transparent about it. You can see what's on our cart. <laughs> you just go to the store and uh, they're flying out the door. So take advantage of that and, and don't forget, you know how many of these mindful mugs we sent out today? A bunch. <laughs> I don't even know how many. And with each mindful mug, I also send out a uh, little card thanking you because you know what? You guys have been supportive of me. This is why I show up every day to support you and encourage you and help you on your journey. So thank you, thank you. You know, you, you have no idea. And also I wanna tell you that um, one of the things that I do is I pray for each one of you. And every time I sign an invoice, because I say thank you to each one of you, every time I write out a card, all of you are prayed for every single day. You know, whatever it is that's going on with you, and that's how I pray that God is gonna bless you in the ways that you need blessing. It's Soulful Saturday. I'm just gonna share my soul with you because I, you know, my whole life and my purpose is to encourage you, to teach you, and to bring you along, and to bring you alongside so we can do this journey together. Isn't it better in community? It is for me. Um, Eileen Sullivan, one of our treasured members, was, has been so helpful. We had a little glitch in PayPal, and you know what she did? She helped us out. She worked with Jenny back and forth. They did all kinds of stuff. They got PayPal fixed. And we, help, we helped her, and I sent her just a, a thank you a bundle of supplements, and she sent me this lovely little card. And I just thought it was so beautiful. Kindness is rare and beautiful. And you know what? Kindness is rare. Kindness is beautiful. And when we share that with each other, not only are we blessing other people, we're blessing ourselves in return. Have you noticed how your beautiful self just feels filled up and, and just happy? Have you noticed that your empathy grows and that kindness is, is second nature. This is what happens when we flip the switch and we decide instead of the world being against us, it's working on our behalf, you know? It works on our behalf because we decide, we make the decision that life is going to work for our, our, on our behalf and our brains are go out of their way to look for evidence to support that. And it, it, drops, in your, <laughs> it drops in your lap. Have you noticed that? It drops in your lap. God is so good. God is so good. And it keeps your soul full, exactly, Catherine. It does keep your soul full. So on Monday, if you have ordered your Perfect Paleo Protein and you are getting ready to blitz with us on Monday, come on down, girlfriends. And it's still not too late. You can order some Perfect Paleo Protein. Throw it in your cart, throw your appetite control um, kit in your cart as well and you'll get the shipping for free that you know that big little thing that heavy um, collagen it's heavy perfect paleo protein vanilla chocolate and unflavored and um, we're gonna blitz and then you know all the it's just 10 days and it's basically a collagen loading exercise we need all the collagen we can get and I keep telling you this and somehow or another I'm gonna figure out how to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I wanna show you my face in 2015 versus my face today. And so you can see um, just how different my face is and it's all from collagen and intermittent fasting. Those two things work together. They're ridiculous. We are, it is absolutely ridiculous. So anyway, you know, if you wanna get your, if you wanna get your skin going and you wanna tighten some things up, intermittently fast, add in the collagen, and watch your skin change. Every 30 days you get new skin cells. You might as well do yourself a big, big favor and give your body the building blocks it needs. Collagen's everything. Uh, supplement of the week. Oh, and don't forget, we next Saturday at this time, I will not be here. I will be doing a conference with Marla called the Happy Mama Workshop. And you know why? because women are start, there's a lot of people who are getting ready to go back to school and thinking, how am I gonna do this? Probably for you, if you have children, school's gonna be a little different. 
So I'm gonna help you get organized with that, show you some methodology that's worked with me, and Marla's gonna use the whole Fly Lady system and show you how it works. If you're homeschooling or looking, however it is that you need to do life, you know? We just, we have to be flexible. Well, you also need to have tactics, strongly. I strongly believe in that. The more you can plan, the more you can set up, the more you're ready, the better it's gonna be for you. And that's what this whole thing is about. It's not a conference, it is a workshop because you're gonna do bit work when you're there. And we got tons of stuff, $140 worth of swag bag yummies. <laughs> Go check it out. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash mama and get ready because we are gonna homeschool like nobody's business. I was a homeschooler for eight years and I, I, I earned my stripes. Let me tell you, doing it as a single mom, starting a business, being a freelance writer, I got, I got my stripes, ladies. I got my stripes and I can teach you a thing or two. You know, there are some, some real incredible things. So anyway, <laughs> that's what we have for today. If you have questions, of course, don't forget, Fridays are always Q&A. And you know what we do on the Q&As? We ask all the questions. I see stuff from nutrition. I see stuff, I, I mean, I've answered almost everything. There's been a couple weird questions come my way. And I double dog dare you, send me a weird question and see if I'll answer it. Why not? Let's have some fun with this. <laughs> so you just send them into support at savingdinner.com and in that amazing little subject line, put question for Leanne on Friday and you will get that question answered, no matter how weird it is. Maybe I should say that maybe, you know, and if it starts getting weird and what have you, I, I will let you know. <laughs> so today I want to share with you that, you know, Soulful Saturday is kind of a day where we go for a little bit of a, an archaeological dig into our souls. It's one of the most neglected places that we, um, we have in our whole lives because we're so busy worrying about what size jeans we have. We're so busy worrying about the kids and the husband and the this and the that and the house and the schedule and the running around in the car and this, that and the other thing, that sometimes our little souls are starving in the corner like sniveling little children <laughs> needing attention, attention. We don't have to, we don't have to do that. Yes, and by the way, Jenny is there at working as a moderator on the on our, our online virtual workshop slash conferences. So she's gonna be there. She's also had eight years of experience and is gonna go all the way with, with all of her children. So we've got some expertise to, to pull from and she will be there to help answer questions and stuff too. So I feel very blessed, don't you? I feel very blessed. So the big thing for me is, is um, and I'm gonna share that, like this was an aha and it's in my journal. It was from a few years ago. And that was this whole thing of um, talking about what it is that you want in life. And I kept saying, yeah, I, this is what I want, but how is that gonna happen? Have you ever done that? You know, you get, you, you have this idea. You have an idea for anything. You have an idea for what you want in your home, what you want for your family, what you want in your relationships, what you want for work, what you want for even a house, or whatever it is. But you get stopped because you start to ask, well, I can't do that. How am I supposed to do that? I don't get it. Well, this is the big thing that's just gonna make your head spin, okay? And this is really a lot of work and it's taken me a long time to get there, but I honestly, I've seen this work so many times that I'm gonna share it with you. And it's gonna make you think that I'm, I'm insane. But I'm all right with that. And that is, it is not your job to ask how. Your job is to think of what. Your job is to think of what and to think about it in detail and to embellish it in your head and to think it and feel it and even emote over it. Now, <clears throat> when I lost all that weight, when I was 237 pounds and just struggling with my health, you know, completely lit up with plantar fasciitis, a, a disfiguring rosacea all over my face and those big nodules all over, thyroid nodules on my neck. And I've told you that story about the, the radiologist coming at me with a freaking needle the size of a <laughs> turkey baster. Yeah, 
three needle biopsies. And I'm not kidding you, that hurt like the dickens. Nobody told me it was gonna hurt like that. They don't numb you up, they just come at you and just stick, jab that thing in you. Anyway, they came back negative. I'm really grateful for that. But at that moment, I mean, I made a big decision that no matter what, somehow I was gonna get my body back. And I said, I'm gonna take back my body. I'm gonna take back my power. I don't know how right now. I don't know what it's gonna take. And I keep getting told over and over and over again that it's too late, you've got this autoimmune disease, it's only gonna get worse. As a matter of fact, you're gonna get another one and you, you're gonna, you can't lose weight, you're gonna feel like crap, you're lucky this wasn't cancer, and on. And you know what I did? I rejected all of it. I said no, because that's not what I want. That's not part of the vision for my life. I don't know how, but I know somehow or another, I am going to turn the corner. I am going to take back my life, take back my body. I am not going to be overruled by this, this, this trend in disease, no. So I did everything that I could. I fired my doctor, I got a new doctor. I looked for the possibilities. I started looking at small things one at a time. How? Start with one thing. And the first thing that I did was change up my diet. I changed it because I knew just from all my reading and my research, and when I say research, I'm not talking about some random Facebook post with an infographic or some random article written by someone, but no, I went into um, PubMed, PubMed and I looked up the articles. I looked up and saw what the actual science was to support what it is that I was trying to do. I spoke with experts. I talked to my friend, Terry Walls. And you know, if you know Terry, she's got an autoimmune disease, secondary relapsing MS, that put her in a tilt reclined wheelchair and she changed everything when it came to her diet. And a year later, she was out of that wheelchair and she did an 18 mile race. What does that tell you about nutrition? And what it did to me, who had been a nutritionist for all these years, is it flipped my thinking. It made me look for the possibilities instead of the limitations and it completely, 100% changed my life. I didn't need to know how, I just needed to know what. And so I knew what, let's beef up on these veggies. Let's get that green in. You know, you've heard me speak about green. You know, it's one of the reasons we have Just Juice veggies in our, our cart. You know, I, I at first didn't want it, but then I was like, yeah, bring it in. We need all the help we can get. And when you consider you got one scoop of this stuff and it gives you seven to nine servings of fruit and vegetables a day, why wouldn't you have that in your pantry, right? That's how I look at it, especially with kids. But everything that I did was hell bent on getting me well. I didn't like the way I felt. I didn't like the way I looked. I didn't like any of it. Everything, every day was an ordeal. I hurt, I was exhausted, I didn't look like myself, and I didn't even know who I was anymore. I was depressed. I didn't know how, I just knew what. And so I took, those, I took all that good information that Terry gave me with an understanding nutrition from a completely different perspective, which you hear me preach all the time and I give Terry her due. I, I talk about her in my book, Part-Time Paleo, uh, and just said she flipped my thinking on, on nutrition. The way I was taught way back in the day is like, you gotta be careful about fat, <laughs> you No, know? Back in the 90s, that was all part of the thing. But she flipped it, because she restudied it, because she wanted to get well. And so when I decided I wanna get well too, and I have less of an ordeal than she does, I am not in a wheelchair, I do not have secondary relapsing MS. I simply have Hashimoto's that's raging out of control. Let's fix it. So I knew the value most of what I wanted. I knew what my core values were and my core values have always been about doing things healthfully. Well, sometimes you have to take a look at what does healthfully mean? Is this accurate? Is this working for me? And I started to flip all of that. I took out the whole grains. That's what I had been taught earlier. And I put instead in there more vegetables. I took out anything that had dairy in it 
because the dairy was lighting my face up like a Christmas tree. Now, I want you to understand about rosacea. Part of the, the theory right now about rosacea is that it is, it is um, possibly also an autoimmune disorder, which makes a whole lot of sense because of the people that I've met with rosacea also have other autoimmune diseases. Now, rosacea can, there's several different types of rosacea. Sometimes it just looks like you have like slapped cheeks, red slapped cheeks. That's how it started with me. But then it erupted, and I'm saying erupted. And I, I, I sent pictures to Marla and I was just absolutely distraught. I would not leave the house. I had, and I, what I told her is I've got North America on one side and I've got South America on the other side that my face had erupted, broken, and the skin had broken, and I had yellow crusties and red crusties all over my face. I can't believe just how horrid it was. And I have, I have a, a picture of me with this rosacea, um, not quite in that crusty way because I just wouldn't, it was when I was getting better and I was pleased with how much better I was going and it was still a complete disaster but I was starting to heal and it came from within. And let me just tell you what was involved. It was an elimination diet, it was a ton of vegetables. Elimination as in no grains, no gluten at all, no, um, uh, no dairy, no dairy at all, gone, none. I also went to the, to the dermatologist, full disclosure, IPL on my face, and that's intense pulse light to just heal that business. I was in such a mess, it itched, it was horrible. I just can't even believe it. And, and that was the least of my worries <laughs> with everything else that was going on. But I flipped what I thought and I was open to learn and I was open to gain knowledge and to take that and apply it. I didn't just read about it. I didn't just say, well, that's interesting. But I trusted what, what, what I was reading and I focused on it and I applied it. And I'm using myself as this is because this is pretty much this is from that whole era of when this whole thing was happening of what I was was saying and I have this here I need to be the example and the benchmark of my actions to cause the ripple ripple effect of my own positivity because that my own positivity and seeing myself in a different light and flipping the whole thing instead of saying you're so fat you're never gonna get well, your face is a mess, you can't even walk across the room, and, and, and you know, you're, my throat's killing me. Instead of having that whole attitude, I kept saying, it's getting better every day. I'm doing one more thing to tip, to, to tip this over into my favor. And that brings me to the point of everything having a tipping point, everything does. And you know this if you've ever just like, suddenly you've just gone off on someone, you know? You've taken it, you've taken it, and you've taken it, then suddenly it's like, ah, you know, I'm just gonna go crazy on you. We have a tipping point. Well, I had a tipping point too, and I understood that if I just kept going on this way and get gradually better and better and better, it's gonna take me to the other side, and it's exactly what it did. So I started with my food because that was the biggest, most obvious thing because you feed yourself from the inside out. We all know that. That was number one. Number two is I had to take that stress down because I beat, me, beat myself up continually. It's all my fault, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this and that. And it just this constant conversation in my head that did me no good. It just took me down that bad path. And so I started to flip all of that and I started to, you know, instead of wish for what I wanted, I asked for what I wanted. If I didn't have what I needed in front of me or if there was a missing puzzle, if there was a puzzle piece here that I didn't quite understand, I sought friends out, I asked questions, you know, and this is why I say to you, we have a and a every Friday. Take advantage of that because I will answer your questions. I've been in the place of not understanding and not knowing exactly what to do. I had a supplement regime that was just, it was crazy. It was, you know, it was bigger than this one, which is, those are my supplements right there. <laughs> you know, because everything that I did needed to be pointing me and pushing me up that hill to what it was that I wanted. I didn't need to know exactly how, I didn't need to have the whole thing set out for me. I just needed to know what. 
and I needed to, to implement that one thing. I took my exercise, which was crazy at the time, and I was killing myself with all this crazy exercise and just working my butt off, but it added to the stress. So I took the exercise way down and I started instead to do gentler exercise. I started to get more sleep. I started to take really good care of myself. And the results are, I lost the weight, I got my skin back, I got rid of those, those thyroid nodules, they're completely gone. There's a video of me getting my thyroid um, sonogrammed, and you can watch it right here if you want, and have see the doctor say, they're gone. That's not supposed to happen. But I'm here to tell you to start to believe in miracles and start to believe in yourself and start to believe that there are ways out of the hardest places that you've ever been. Even if you can't see it, even if you don't know how, just believe that the what is enough and that just this one thing, this one little piece of, of, of evidence, this one little piece of advice is gonna take you there. Believe that. And, and also, I will add this because this is exactly um, one of the things that I, I wrote in my journal. I am doing exactly what is necessary for me to get well every single day. That was part of an affirmation that I had for myself, an intention that I wrote out, and I made sure that my mind was focused on getting well. You know, when we live our lives in default and we're just going through our day to day thing and we're just doing that whole Groundhog Day existence, we don't get the juicy, optimal life, the vibrant lives that we want. It doesn't happen by default. It happens on purpose. And all I'm saying to you is don't get wrapped up in the details. Just get wrapped up in what's next. One thing. What's the one thing I can do right now today? And then at the end, as you put this whole thing together, you get to look back. You know, just like the story I'm telling you right now, I get to look back and tell you exactly what happened. I took care of my diet, I took care of my stress and, and meditated, brought my, my exercise down so that it was not so stressful on my body, babied those adrenals, got better sleep, had a sleep routine and went to, took a bath every night with Epsom salts and lavender and just relaxed chilled out a little on the wine because you know it was just kind of every night I'd get get down on a glass of wine and it was just it got to be too much I pulled the plug on things that weren't working and plugged in to new things that were working and every day I would add it to you know what I was doing I got adequate hydration and you know what else I did I built relationships got rid of the toxic ones and built the ones that mattered and counted all of these things are part of living an optimal life. All of these things give you vibrancy. And that's what I want for you is complete and utter vibrancy. You gotta do a little bit of a dig and see what's going on in your life. You're not gonna fix it all at one time, but step by step, you can do it. And just by having this in your awareness, having this in your consciousness and deciding and making that decision that you're worth every bit of this effort, this is exactly where you need to go. When you're worth, when you understand that you're worth the effort, you know that that path is written with your name on it. And you, it's worth the time. You're worth the effort. And remember this, you have a purpose. If God put you here on this planet at this time, even in this crazy pandemic, there's a reason for your existence. You know, we're here, I believe, and I read this um, a couple of weeks ago and it just, really, it just really resonated with me. I think it was James Clear who said that. Everybody is here and has a purpose and their purpose is to help others. So if we can look at it from that perspective, and if you're a mama at home and you know, you're, you're taking care of children, you're there to help them to become successful adults. And for right now, if that's all that you've got going on, please don't poo-poo that. Don't say, well, all I'm doing is raising kids. No, all you're doing is raising this next generation. How critically important. If you're a single woman, if you're married, whatever it is, wherever you are in your life, you have a purpose and you can make somebody's life better as well as your own. It's how we live. It's how we view things. It's how we put things together. You can be a joyful mother or you can be a sad sack 
and just complain about everything and have your brain actually shrink. That's what the, that's what the science tells us. Complainers' brains are smaller than people who have gratitude flowing from their lives. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So, my dear friends, my lovelies, I invite you on to this, play, this, this pathway that has your name on it. It's got your name on it. And you don't know exactly where it's going exactly. You know where you wanna go. You don't know every turn, every twist, but what you do know is where you're starting and where you want to go and allow the process to educate you along the way. And one more thing, this journey is your experience in life. It's not something to rush through. It's not something to dismiss. It's not something to say, well, until I get there, I'm not gonna you know, be happy or delighted about anything. No, no. If you understand and start to grasp the concept of embracing the journey, then you're gonna find a whole new level of vibrancy in your life, right where you are. You know that story that I told you about being in the Lane Bryant and, and finally loving myself for where I was? Well, let me just say this. You need to love yourself right where you are, and I don't care what size jeans you are. You need to love yourself right now where you are. A loved body is a body that's gonna cooperate with what you're trying to do, and is gonna love you right back. That's a promise. That's a promise. I have such gratitude for you. Thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for um, just making my life so much better. Everything about, I mean, this, this little card from Eileen, I just, it, I, I had tears. I had tears. And my friend Amy Martin, which I haven't seen but today, but Amy sent me flowers one time when I was just having a really hard time and ended up crying here. You know, we, we're all humans. And my goodness, we need each other, don't we? Don't we? I know I need you, and I really appreciate all that you do for me. Thank you so much, Yvonne and Dor Dorothy. Thank you so much, everybody, for showing up, for sharing these videos, and also for being such faithful customers, you know? You, 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 you buy my products, I appreciate that. Pinky's up. <laughs> Pinky's up, and I love you all. Peace out, and peace be with you. Bye-bye.